Awareness around domestic violence is being raised this month to help empower survivors and those who can help. News 8's Abby Alford shares how a group of self-taught art, art, wait, self-taught artsy women, Very that's artsy. what we're trying to say, they're helping survivors write their own story. These are just a few of the beautiful cards that the Cardenistas draw each week for survivors of domestic violence. Are you kidding? You did a beautiful job. Feeling isolated during the pandemic, these Mission Beach women got together to call themselves the Cardenistas. We are women who have formed a circle, and we want to know that that circle can get as big as you want it to be, that you can be a part of it too. The Cardenistas circled back to helping survivors of domestic violence break their own isolation and write their own story with these hand-painted greeting cards. Anything that makes a person smile, anything that reminds them what kindness is. The cards are available at no cost at the Center for Community Solutions, a nonprofit that provides free social services such as legal assistance, counseling and shelter to survivors of relationship and sexual violence. They make the survivors have a connection to something that feels normal. Um, they can have a connection to maybe a celebration, starting new traditions, having a card to celebrate that. Often survivors of domestic violence arrive at the center with only the clothes on their back and no money. This is a way to really have someone say, I've got your back as your community member. I believe in what you're doing. I believe you. A little hello card can be a way for survivors to write down their thoughts to someone meaningful along their journey. Cards say things from our hearts. No matter your age, you can still appreciate the written word. Yes, I think the part of it that I love the most is the idea that the children are actually going to be able to get a card for their mom because how haven't they been able to do that and say how proud they are. Each week the makeshift studio moves to another Cardenista's home. Some are experienced artists and some are dipping their brush in the paint for the first time in a long time. And we all have different levels. We're all learning. Each card is carefully and colorfully painted. A card is a keepsake. It's like a gift. I want it to be like a little midnight behind it. Just like the survivors who are putting the past behind them to write their new story. You have a whole community. That's what these cards say. There are many ways that you can help survivors of domestic violence. Go to CBS8.com, click on the help button.